System Critical 2 is a VR arcade style shooter. I'll be going over what the game offers to help you decide if this is one for you. First off, the game does have a story and it follows Cyborg 13, the last bastion in saving civilization from the Evil Eye organization. The story is pretty much told through the opening cutscene that is more of an AI image showcase of Cyborg 13, some of which look different to the others. Personally for me, I didn't enjoy this. In fact, I found the opening to be one of the worst parts. It feels like it was wrote by AI and with the voice as well, it didn't grip me in the story being told or the character. Gameplay wise, this is a fast paced action shooter in which you use a pistol and a blaster. Each level will have you taking out enemies until you face a boss. With this game going for more of a retro style VR shooter, there are a lot of platforming elements which really adds to the fast paced action as sometimes you'll be jumping from platform to platform while being shot. This really made me concentrate on my jumps or shooting. As well as the shooting, you will find melee weapons throughout the game and I really enjoyed double jumping and attacking with these. There are also grenades but I didn't really like using them that much. Each level gradually grows in difficulty as does the boss at the end of each level. If you're into a game that will challenge you then I'm sure you'll find some enjoyment from the gameplay. Right let's talk about the soundtrack, for me it has a repetitive loop which isn't necessarily a bad thing as it seems quite retro like in the sense that it gets stuck in your head and you'll be humming it along. Each level comes with another track and they're quite well done and I even found myself moving along to it at times. However if you struggle on some of the levels you may end up finding the tracks to become more repetitive than usual. Graphics wise they aren't too bad, some of the levels look better than others and I did find myself looking around more but the majority of the time the platforms you're walking on look pretty flat as do the textures. The enemies don't look too bad and the boss designs are varied and somewhat unique. Performance wise I had no issues with frame drops or crashes and I'm also happy to say the haptic support and the sense controllers are well done. As for the settings, you can use smooth or snap turning, but there isn't any teleportation movement. I did try and play the game seated, which it kind of works, however it doesn't recenter to allow you to be the same height as everything else, so you'll be shooting from a crouch-like position. Due to this, I wouldn't recommend playing seated. Now for what I didn't like, I found the teleporting enemies to be overused and somewhat frustrating. I also felt that when moving it was like you were on ice. This may have been a design choice, but it can take some getting used to. I also found the game to be quite repetitive even with the level design. Lastly, I wasn't a fan of the story and personally felt that it devalued the game slightly. For all the trophy hunters out there, this game does have a platinum. Overall, System Critical 2 is a challenging but fun experience. I enjoyed the boss battles and platforming elements. Unfortunately, I could only complete one or two levels at a time as it was quite repetitive. So, should you get this game? Well, if you want a challenging experience that offers an arcade feel, then this is great for that. However, if shooters aren't your thing, then it's best to avoid this one. This concludes my review of System Critical 2. If you've enjoyed this video, then make sure to stick around as I intend on covering all PSVR 2 games. Therefore, you'll see the new releases as well as the old. Thanks for watching.